तो फाइव पाथ्स टू गेट रिमोट जॉब्स स्पेसिफिकली आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द वेज यू कैन वर्क रिमोटली फ्रॉम इंडिया एज अ कोडर स्लैश डेवलपर वेरियस एक्सपीरियंस लेवल्स एट विच यू कैन अप्लाई टू दीज जॉब्स स्लैश रोल्स इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज द लेवल्स दैट यू ग्रो इन दिस कंपनी एस डी वन एस डी थ्रू थिंग्स लाइक दीज एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम यू एट ईच एंड एवरी लेवल कॉम्पनसेशन नंबर्स रेंजेस फॉर ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ दीज फाइव रोल्स एंड सम अल्फा बिकॉज आई हैव पर्सनली डन ऑल फाइव ऑफ दीज वंस और मोर देन वंस इन माई लाइफ लेट्स गेट राइट इन टू इट द फर्स्ट वन इज नॉट एली अ जॉब दिस वन इज एन इंटर्नशिप इट्स जी सॉक आउट रीची एंड अ बंच ऑफ अदर ओपन सोर्स प्रोग्राम्स दैट एक्जिस्ट वाई दे आर गुड इज बिकॉज दे आर ऑफिशियली एन इंटर्नशिप बट दे पे रियली वेल नंबर वन नंबर टू दे गिव यू a basic benchmark of you have done remote work but there are auxiliary benefits to doing this monetary benefits might not be very high compared to the amount of effort that you have to put in but it's a good internship to do especially if you're in college one of the best internships you can do i have a more detailed video on this i will link somewhere on the top right but you can look at it if you want to understand how to get into gsoc this year okay experience it used to be only for college students now it's open to everyone so zero to five years does not matter or like even more but generally after five years you probably don't want to apply um, very specifically targeted targeted at college students uh, interview is just contributing to open source again there's a detailed video on it but the high, long story short is uh, your open source contributions in a project matter and in the end you have to create a proposal which is like a 8 to 10 page doc in which you propose the changes that you will make does not matter too much what really matters is how many contributions have you made to that organization which means how much code have you contributed to that organization beginner level don't really not really for advanced people if i'm being honest um title you are still an intern not a full time employee here it's like a 3 to 4 month internship the compensation numbers are somewhere in this range um for gsoc it's around 3000 dollars i think basically towards the left and for outreach i think it's 5500 dollars towards the right it might have changed keeps changing every year um duration is 2 to 4 months um alphas competition is much less pays pays less more competition is much higher uh, pays much less but at the same time um, very good professional you know uh, thing to have in your resume a lot of people know gsoc not a lot of people know outreach um being aggressive with your contributions matters especially for gsoc outreach me as i said the competition is lesser and hence you can get away with not as many contributions because you're not competing with a lot of people gsoc has extremely high competition at least today so you need to have very aggressive contributions uh, you need to be very polite and you need to start early by early i mean usually you should start around september it's november now so you're already behind by a month or two but gsoc officially starts in march um, which means you still have 3 to 4 months to make a lot of open source contributions um pick the right organizations um unfortunately this is like a this is like an examination right there are 1000 vacancies that come up every year and a bunch of people applying none of you people will make it in more than not more than but almost equivalent to the contributions that you're making the organization that you're applying to matters a lot why because if there is more competition you'll probably get crushed if there's less competition you might make be able to make it in even with lesser amount of contribution so that is the first one second one is so this is where remote work actually starts these are our actual jobs the first remote job most probably that you will get is i like to call the category ad hoc which basically means if you have between 0 to 3 years of experience working either at an on site job or a remote job it's not matter then you can apply for such jobs what are these jobs these are basically uh, rich people in the us um usually individuals sometimes very small businesses who want to get their first technical hire or founding engineer to build their code base from scratch um a lot of times the expectation from you is that you will come hit the ground running build their website end to end which means build front end build back end build deploy it devops if there is they are working in a niche field you will understand that niche field everything you will do for the next 6 to 8 months after which they will find some sort of pmf raise funds whatever so these are usually slightly short term gigs because a lot of times these startups don't tend to fly out and you know in 6 months to a year the, the they won't find pmf and the project will die but still decent amount of money interview is fairly casual it is trial heavy which means you have to give them a trial you have to show them you can actually create websites you can write bad code but you should be able to put something out in production that's all they care level is intermediate you need to have a lot of knowledge as i said of a bunch of things not just one specific domain compensation is usually this much which is 20 to 30 dollars an hour that translates to 40 to 60k us dollars a year around 50 lpa basically um, which is good it's pretty good in india especially for just starting out with this experience and it's remote job save taxes all that jazz so milam look it's a pretty decent offer duration as i said is 6 months unless the company takes off a lot of times these companies don't take off because these are just side projects by a lot of people but the good thing is you can do this with another job you know uh keep a backup option if you know this company might not go anywhere for me my first project was something like this where i built something for the client um we did it for around 8 months and 
we built a solid product but they could not find pmf they could not find someone to sell it to i made my money the good thing here is that you make money irrespective of the outcome but again don't expect extreme amount of job stability here uh, eight to ten months ke baad, based on whether or not they find pmf they will keep you or let you go if they do find a pmf then it's you know you are one of the founding engineers you can ask for equity all that jazz alpha um, usually only you're the only engineer in the team it is very fast paced need to cover breadth of technologies rather than depth of technologies can write bad code and speed matters a lot very easy to get fired here uh, that said since they don't know a lot of coding so you can you know change timelines as as per your comfort uh, but at this hourly rate which is pretty low for a us company they don't really care if you build them a little bit more on the number of hours since you're building them less on the hourly price now this is a difficult one i'm going to be very upfront here this one not a lot of people can do two there is a lot of competition but if the ball is in your court and you have a good day then open source is basically okay there is a company out there that has put their code base for everyone to see they have put their issues for everyone to see you can go there and pick the issues solve them and if they like you they hire you title can be junior engineer can be senior engineer um a lot of these companies have bands slightly bigger ones slightly smaller ones have like just other senior everyone is a senior engineer so uh will depend a little bit on the organization um but high level bands don't really matter here other than for compensation numbers of course if you're a junior engineer you'll get an x salary if you're a senior engineer you'll get another salary other than that it's just a title um level you need to be intermediate probably but more than intermediate compensation numbers is 40 to 100 dollars an hour that translates to around 80k us dollars to 200k us dollars yes that's a lot of money that's 50 lakhs to 1.5 cr but as i said much harder to get if you get it though even a junior engineer makes somewhere from 70 to 90k in one of these companies pretty humble number trust me i've done this many times i'm not trying to inflate any numbers here this is as i said it is hard to get but if you get in these are humble numbers to ask um even for a junior engineer 40 dollars an hour if you've contributed well in an open source company you've proved your worth you can ask for it duration until the company dies uh, depends on how much runway the company has usually good open source companies that are you know um, hiring from the internet have double digit million funding i've seen that's the general pattern i've seen uh, in which case company does not die for a really long time so you should be fine as long as you're you know contributing um, alphas is if you are thinking of doing this don't go down the route of smalling solve issues you can do that for um, gsoc if you're here you solve small issues you might get in you might not get in a lot of times you get in without solving any issues that does not happen here probably don't pick up small issues and show them okay, you know you can actually pick issues that help them these code bases are not to learn or experiment from these are real world companies they, they are looking if at all you want to contribute contribute to a big issue that actually helps a contributor save them some time and secondly in case you are thinking of contributing don't contribute for a while just look at the code base for a while get comfortable with the code base whenever you are ready up to hand, i want to contribute then aggressively contribute together because that's how you get caught in the eye of one of the maintainers of the project okay big big issues very hard to do i've said this many times not very easy uh, don't contribute randomly to a project with small small issues solve big issues or don't solve them at all lot of things need to work out they need to have an opening you need to be contributing at the right time see you will also run out of motivation to contribute if you don't get an offer from them for 15 days does happen for people has happened for me only once but when it did it's like a very beautiful and uh, organic way to get hired okay last one is big companies series a plus uh, it's like a fan job um, and it pays pretty well um experience i would say this is a bare minimum here you have at least two years of experience does not matter on site or uh, remote these companies are basically startups only but they're like series a plus which means they've raised at least 20 to 100 million a lot of times the companies that i had i worked for uh, that falls in this category had raised around 100 million dollars um they are looking for basically experience they're looking for uh someone who writes good code even if though he's slow can manage people can help increase the overall level of the company interview is proper proper four rounds of dsa followed by system design followed by life coding followed by behavioral a lot of times talking to the cto very standard almost everywhere i've seen this only okay, first one easy dsa screening round after you clear the dsa screening round then a bunch of interviews together which are system design you have to design usually their system only if you're applying for let's say a remote company that does uh, wallets or like is a payment gateway they will ask you to design the payment gateway and then there is a live coding round where they will basically ask you to live code the same thing this like behavioral is where do you see yourself in five years all that things you can google it like the simplest interview here um titles they have proper titles you know sd1 sd2 sd3 tech lead staff software engineer principal software engineer um compensation numbers um 
depend on where you lie over here um and you need to be mid to advanced probably you need to be advanced you need to be really good you need to have a few years of experience under your belt to apply here compensation numbers are 50 to 100 dollars an hour that translates to 100k to 200k probably sometimes a little bit more this is just cash i'm talking about a lot of times these companies have very inflated valuations like a billion dollars 700 million dollars so you can actually take out a good chunk of equity as well along with this cash this is just the cash component that can be anywhere between 100k to 250k basically that's the range at least i have seen i have been able to get look at the alphas only possible for experienced folks rounds are usually straightforward the interview process are usually pretty easy um easier to get an interview if you know something the company wants yes the last point is important here these companies we hire from india if you provide them some value some engineering thing that's hard to hire for for me that was web artists today that's or web3 also sometimes if you can write smart contracts a web3 company that's really heavily funded would want you because there are a lot of people who can write smart contracts similarly ai is the uh, like other thing it's very hard to find machine learning engineers which is why today if you want to get hired into one of these companies you need to be solid you don't have to be solid but you need to be very aware of a specific niche you need to have built projects in a specific niche some niche will help you get that interview interview process is usually pretty easy here if you don't mess it up you should be able to make it in pretty lucrative and you know chill laid back sort of a atmosphere in these companies um you do your standard nine to five you go on offside it's pretty chill it's, it's not as aggressive as all the points that i've discussed until now but it's also sort of harder to get last one talent network so this is not really a job but um this is pretty lucrative uh, it if you get into a talent network um it can connect you to a lot of opportunities which are much harder to do through like a fiber or an upwork um, talent networks are companies that sort of interview you once uh, very aggressively and then get you into the network which basically means now you're part of the network anytime someone in the us someone in uk needs to find um, a developer they connect you to the de developer in the us in uk the good thing about these networks is you know there's one time effort of interview and after that the clients that you're meeting they don't have an official interview process they just have trials basically and usually the trials are pretty smooth so you're able to get jobs consistently if this is pretty good if you already have a job and want to do freelancing on the side because you can get short term projects if you want you can get long term projects as well uh, and they pay pretty well um the talent network interviews are usually two rounds uh, one round of dsa and one round of round life coding dsa is much hard pretty hard here um i don't know why uh, but they yeah they want to filter out a lot of people so dsa is do in 10 minutes solve this dp problem which is it was hard for me um, title there is no title here you're just part of a network and then you get uh, sort of employed in some company for like six months to a year usually that's the general duration of a project that you'll get so these are short term projects that you get that this company sort of connects you to um level you need to be intermediate to mediocre um compensation numbers are these um i would say it's more towards 25 dollars unless you're good in a niche getting in is hard but life is pretty chill after you get in um as i said two interviews to get in but after you get in it's like you're part of the network forever and you can get like look for job opportunities and a lot, a lot of times get them you have to sort of price yourself based on markets um you know bull market if you know a niche i've made this much as well and like consistently and build a lot of clients during bears 25 30 50 those are the ranges that you should target at least from a third world country um blessing if you are in a third world country it's very hard to connect to people in the US. Third world countries, may, these, that's the job of these talent networks. That's how they make money. Okay, USA, expensive client. India, say cheap developer. Connect them, make money in the middle. Talent network cuts are usually 50 to 100%, which basically means if you are charging 50,000 rupees a month, the talent network is also taking 50,000 rupees a month. And the end client in the US is paying 1 lakh rupees. If you make in a year 100K from these talent networks, the talent network also almost makes 100K. Keep that in mind, does not really matter to me. You can put your price out there. Um, they will, of course, take a premium, and the premium usually is in this range. Um, lastly, gives you a good community of people. Um, usually, you're connected in a Slack and a Discord to all of these sort of like minded people, and usually these are pretty smart people. For example, in a bunch of these um, talent networks, I've seen the founder of, or like the main person who wrote the code base of Redux, um, because he's also part of the network, and you know, they help him get a job as well from like, I'm sure, much more higher paid than this, but. You'll find people like this in the community doing talks and, and much of these things. So it's other than the money and, you know, uh, the other benefits that you get from being in a talent network, you get access to a lot of people, which is much harder to get if you're not in them. Cool. These were the five high level. Let's see if I have something else. Nope. Ways to make money. Let me recap. It's either GSOC or Outreachy. You'll make around 5 
three to five thousand dollars during a summer. It's an internship, not a full-time job. Ad hoc, which means you don't have a lot of experience. You ask someone in the U.S. who needs to build a startup. Okay, bhai, I'll help you out. You get paid somewhere between thirty to fifty k U.S. dollars, and can be short term. Usually short term unless the product kicks off and you know you become one of the founding engineers in the company. Open source much harder to do, pays very well, but you need to be very good. Make sure you're solving really good issues if you're trying to go down this route. And luck pays a little bit of part here. Big company, very smooth, very chill, but you need to be a senior engineer. You need to be good. You need to. Ha- it's good to have a domain knowledge in some specific niche. Then it's easier to get here. Um, very chill lifestyle. Very. It's like a fang. Uh, but pays well and you can work remotely um lastly talent networks like top tal uh, brain trust um, gigster are three that come to mind right now that like 20 talent networks today um good community to have can a little erratic but can connect you to companies usually something you do along with your full time job okay that's all i wanted to talk about thank you everyone for joining hopefully this was an insightful video i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye